talking about driving and sexual engagement. G'day everyone, welcome to week one of my Chasing Sub 40 training series where I just go through my training for the week. This week it was a recovery week and an assessment week. So Monday was a rest day, so we're gonna go ahead and st throw straight to Tuesday. Let's go. Okay, Tuesday done, 6.95 Ks, averaging 5.02 at the end. It was a 15 minute threshold, so I'll put the stats on screen. Hard work. So uh, every minute of that tempo I had to be working to, to maintain pace. There's no switching off, there's no, it's just, yeah, constant battle. <sighs> Part of that's a shoe choice, but that's why I chose them. So yeah, <sighs> Tuesday, threshold done. Now just easy jogging for a couple of days until Saturday's 5K. <sighs> Well, Wednesday. I uh, forgot to take the camera out this morning, so just doing it now. Just under 8Ks. Recovery run this morning, 5.44 pace. Easy, easy does it. Legs feel a lot better now than they did this morning. Cars are like bricks after, after that run yesterday. That's okay, that's what recovery runs are for. Oh well, 8Ks done. Now it's time to go to work. Work for the day. Wouldn't it be great if this YouTube thing paid me so I could, you know, not go to work? <sighs> be wonderful. That's the dream. All right, let's get this done. Bye now. Thursday morning, 45 minutes easy. Everything's feeling pretty tight, so I don't know if I'll do the full 45 minutes. There's no benefit in doing it. So we'll just see. See how I'm feeling at the turn off. Oh, 8.4 Ks, done. 521 pace. Dog not happy with us being here. Um, yeah, everything loosened up after I spoke to you last, so I just thought I'd keep it going just to see how I go. Um, I'll probably take it easy tomorrow, do half an hour tomorrow, because I want to do the 5K on Saturday, so probably just back it off tomorrow a little bit, take it nice and easy so that I'm comfortable going into, into Saturday. Um, yeah, plenty of recovery now. I'll ice everything up and, yeah, a bit of massage and a bit of foam rolling and stuff tonight. Got a day off work, which is why I'm out here a bit later. So, it's lovely. Alright, Thursday done. On to Friday. Bye. G'day. Friday. 30 minutes easy today. Listening to the body. Just taking it easy. Don't want to go too hard. It's bloody wet though. And bloody steamy. Huh. Alright, 30 minutes, it'll be about 6k. Let's get it done. 5.6 k's, done. 5.19 pace. All right, easy run in the books. Ready for tomorrow, ready to launch. See you tomorrow. Warm up done. Strides done. Woo! Quiet you. Marks, get set, go. Oh, Morning. Here we go, man. Go, go. Okay, park run time trial done. Stats are on screen. 
oh, blew up massively. Oh, it's a start. It's a starting point. Talk to you tomorrow. G'day. 15 k's down, an hour and 15 minutes, 17 minutes. That's hard work, hard, hard work. I'll talk to you about the week when I get inside. Just gotta get these kids out of bed. So it was a great week this week. As I said at the start of the video, recovery and assessment was the focus. I was down to 50 k's this week, uh, dropping from what hopefully will be around 70 for the rest of the training plan. There was some soreness uh, throughout the week, but I think I made some pretty smart decisions as a result. Let's dive right into that 5K, talk a little bit more about that. 19.38 was the overall time. I'm never gonna be happy with that. I'm, I'm not gonna be happy with the time. That's just who I am. I'm constantly wanting to go faster and you know, I'm always gonna, I've got that little bit of a negative mindset in me. So I've gotta to, got to work on that. But at the same time, I've just gotta learn from it and, and focus on what I can learn as a result. It felt comfortable early, probably a little too comfortable. I went out a bit hard I had to hold myself back. But it was interesting at about 2K, I've talked a little bit about some of the negative mentality stuff that I've had coming in during races, before races. I had that come in before the run on Saturday. The the interesting part was at about 2K, I started to feel my back start to seize up and get a little bit tight. My head then started telling me, oh no, you better slow down, no, you're done, your run's done and all that. And it was interesting to just force myself to fight through it and force my way through that uh, on Saturday. So I think, my plan this year to run a 5k every month is going to be a good one because it's going to force me to put myself in those situations where I push harder and I push through those those things and that's only going to stand me in good stead when I when I come to racing those 10k's. So I've got two more opportunities to race a 5k in the plan before this 10k effort. The last k was the fastest, so that to me is a really good sign. If we look at my 5k's on the screen now, you can see went out uh, trying to stick around that 350 mark uh, with the hope of kicking down at the end, dropped off a little bit through those middle Ks, but then fought back in that last K and really, really brought it home and brought it home strong. And I felt strong at the end, which is a really, really good sign for me. So pretty happy about that. Backed it up on the Sunday with a long run. Haven't really done that sort of thing too much. Only 15 K, absolutely nailed the long run, felt brilliant, kicked the last K home just a little bit. The heart rate didn't go over 151 the whole time, which is sort of my aim with those long runs. Just long, steady. Now just focusing on recovery today and I don't really need to that much. The legs feel really good. I feel really up and about. 15 Ks isn't pushing me too far. So for this sort of recovery week and the day after a long run, I think it's gonna stand me in good stead. We'll see how I feel tomorrow though. Overall, how things are going, how I'm feeling, how I'm set myself up ready to go for the next few weeks. Well. First of all, my weight, I talked a little bit about that earlier in the year and diet and stuff. Implemented a couple of things, not quite ready to share those yet, but the good news is I'm down to 89 kilos, so that's two kilos off since the start of the year, which is great. Um, I've lost that Christmas binge weight and um, I'm dropping down even further, which is, which is really nice to see that change that I haven't seen in a while. The 5K time tells me that I'm starting this plan from a fair way back. I've got nine weeks left and I've got to try and find depending on what calculator you put that into and all of that sort of stuff, I've got to find about a minute. How I'm looking at that is over the next, so I'm giving myself two opportunities in three weeks time, I'm gonna run another 5K and then another three weeks, I'm gonna run another 5K. And my aim is to ideally find about 20 to 30 seconds across those 5K efforts in about six weeks time. I know it's lofty, but weather will play a huge part in that. I'm outside now and I'm sweating bullets um, the air is so thick and muggy at the moment. We're getting rain, but it's still hot during the day. It's just a, a really hard time of year to be a runner and post fast time. So as that eases up further into the six weeks and probably closer to the 10K race, that'll help me as well. So those times will come down a fair bit just as a result of the changing weather. That's where I'm at. A great week, a great start. I'm really, really happy with how it went. Hopefully I can just keep uh, plugging away, putting week on week on week. And now I've just got to, yeah, put them all together. The plan's there. I've just got to execute it, make sure I do the things that I need to do to execute this. Focusing on recovery, getting out the door every morning, making sure I stick to the plan and make it happen. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, if you've got any thoughts, any questions, any comments you want to make at all, leave them down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. 
I'll see you next time.